Today we're with Dan Lerma at the Container Store. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, kids are back in school. Got a lot of organization we need to get done. Uh, got a lot of different things to look at, so how do we get organized? Well, as you can about imagine, it's a very busy time. There's a lot going on that families have. You know, there's after-school activities, there's uh, library stuff they have to do, there's, you know, PTAs, there's all kinds of things Sports. that are going on in everybody's life. Right. That's right. So we're going to cover six different areas uh, to make sure that they are organized and ready to go. Okay. okay. Starting with the calendar. One of the most important things in a home is probably the calendar. Um, a fun thing to do is to actually color code each member of the family. A color for mom, dad, you know, the children, so that you know exactly what everybody's doing. Right. So if little Billy has a football game, you know exactly when that is and where that is. Um, so color code a calendar is a really great idea. Yep, these, uh, are, these are great. You just got to make sure everybody looks at it every That's day. right. Well, put it in an area that you know that everybody's going to see. Probably on the refrigerator is a really great spot okay. because everybody's in the refrigerator. You know, the kitchen that's counter right. and the kitchen area is really the hub of the home. So that's where everybody's at. So a lot of things we're going to cover is going to be in that area as well. That's, that's okay? a really good idea. Next thing is lists. Making a list, a to-do list. You've got all the things that you need to make sure that you do. So in order to save yourself some time, create lists. You've got to go to the dry cleaner. Again, you've got to go to the library. You've got to make the phone call to the plumber, uh, to the container store, wherever you're going, you know, uh, you want to make sure that you get it all done. So some type of, of book or something that's going to fit in a handbag, whatever, right. just keep it simple, but create those lists for the day. Right. It's got to be convenient or else you're not know, going to keep it with you. Exactly. Okay. Paperwork. All that paperwork that comes in and out of the home every day, catalogs that maybe you need to go in and check out, um, permission slips from school. Um, so get some type of a paper organization system going, whether it's letter trays, drawers, anything, label them by, you know, the family name and then go from there. But that way, again, it's in a, in a great area that everybody's going to see it and so they know exactly what's going to happen for them. Right. Okay? Uh, that, that'll help organize my piles. There you my, go. <laughs> make my wife happy. That one's a good one. Very good. Um, lunches. Lunches are one of the most important meals of the day. So prep time. Really make sure that you've got enough prep time. Probably the night before is a really great thing, or maybe on the Sunday before the week starts. Right. Get all the things like the vegetables cut, the fruit cleaned, you know, um, the lunch meats ready, or whatever you need to do. Just make it simple and easy. And you know, a couple of things to kind of get the lunches ready. You know, or things like this where you can separate the fruits and the vegetables. You got a place for the sandwich. You know, or whatever chips. You That's know, nice. snacks. Exactly. That's nice. And I know mornings are really hectic, so you definitely want to try and get these done the night before. If exactly. You, can. you know, and especially mornings, you want something that you're going to be able to quickly grab and go, like cereal. Maybe it's something that you have to grab because you've got the kids taken care of, but you didn't have time for it. So cereal, you know, is a really good thing to have ready to go, gone. Right. And, th and that's great. I mean, you, you've got your milk, you got your cereal, you got a spoon on top. Away you go. You can eat it when you get to work. That, that's right. Yeah, like and that. any type of system will work, but again, it's just having it ready so you can grab and go. Same thing like a bin. It's the on-the-go bin kind of thing. Um, it's, it's where you're going to have this by the door so that you make sure that you get everything that you need to get for that day. Okay. Movies that maybe you need to return, library books, dry cleaning like we've been talking about, all those errands that you've got to get done during the day. Have just a, some type of a bin right by the front door so that everybody knows that that's where it is, right. and then you can grab and go as you, as you need when you're leaving the, st the, the home. Okay? That's good. Another thing, of course, is we're always forgetting keys, sunglasses, <laughs> phones, change, everything. So just something easy and simple by the front door or, again, near the kitchen counter. That last little thing that you're going to grab um, so that you have some place for everybody to put everything. Right. And then you're not searching for it when you're trying to get out the door when you're running late. That's right. You're not having to, you know, call your wife to find her phone, you know. <laughs> it's all right there. I like that. I like that. <laughs> the last thing is really the sixth area is going to make sure that for the after school activity. You know, you've got ballet classes, you've got football games, you've got soccer, soccer games, you've got all those things that are going on. So have a bin ready to go. Have it packed the night before. It goes into the car. You want to add like a couple of snacks, of course, because it's after school. So you want something to eat between going from school to the activity wherever you're going. Um, so water, a snack, the clothes, the, you know, the sports equipment, whatever you need. Maybe a little first aid kit to keep in the bin or to keep in the car somewhere so that you have that handy as right. well. All those things that you want to have prepared so that when you're ready to go in the morning, everybody's rushing around, you just grab the bin and you go. It's great, and, and, and you have different ones that each child could have their own. So, exactly. you know, if you have three kids, each one's organized. So exactly. Those are great. You can label if you need to. Whatever it is that's going to make it easier for you to get out the door quick and easy. Right, right. Thanks for all the organizing tips. It's really great. I think it's going to help people get off to a good school year. And if you're ready to get organized, come on by the Container Store, and everybody here would be glad to help you.